So today I'm going to be doing a long down stay. I'm going to be doing that with my seven year old Siberian Husky Thor. We're going to be doing a mix of um, walking back to our dog in a long down stay and also recall uh, our dog from a long down stay. The reason for that being is because if you recall your dog from a down stay too much, they're going to start anticipating that recall and they're probably going to start uh, breaking that down stay a little sooner than you want to. So we're going to throw in a mix of walking back to your dog in a down stay and also recalling your dog from a down stay. So a note about Thor in particular, I'm going to be using him today. He is our senior in the household. Um, we actually don't ask him to sit or do as many downs. Um, so when I do a recall with him, with my colleagues, I might expect them to sit when they come back to me in a recall. With Thor, we don't actually expect that from him uh, just because of his joint issues. It takes him a little bit longer to get into a down or into a sit. So you might notice that I give him a little bit more time to do things than I might with my border collies. I expect them to be a little bit more snappy than him, but that's okay, right, bub? <laughs> we still hold him to the same high expectations, but it does start a pretty good conversation with um, having realistic expectations for your dogs. So you are more than welcome to do this exercise on leash or off leash. If you guys are serious about your training, I highly suggest that you invest in a nice long uh, 15 foot leash like this one. Um, this is very basic. It's Lupine brand. Um, they're not, you know, no bells and whistles, just a simple, simple leash, um, but they are a really great training tool for like drop leash exercises and starting some um, off leash work and doing some distance obedience work. Um, so again, highly recommend 15 foot lead. I wouldn't recommend getting anything bigger. Uh, 50 feet is really all the space that you're gonna need for this kind of stuff. Uh, if you get a lead that is significantly longer for obedience work, you'll find that it gets tangled up super easily and it just becomes more cumbersome than it really is worth uh, dealing with. So 15 feet, is pretty much all you need. Um, highly recommend. Good boy. On me. 